morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer here and from Corpus Christi again. And uh, 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 this is Wednesday. I'm getting all my days mixed up. And so um, uh, we are finishing up our B'nai Broughton uh, uh, lectures, Pastor Matthew and I. And uh, uh, convocation is going to be starting uh, at noon uh, today or one o'clock with, uh, with the Eucharist. And so we're uh, eager to uh, hear the um, uh, speakers and what's going on in the NALC so we'll be, be able to come back and tell you what's going on but uh, uh, it's hot down here to say the least uh, it's humid you cannot play how humid it is uh, but we are doing well and um, uh, the rooms are freezing cold uh, I'm, I'm glad I told Linda to bring a, uh, a sweater and uh, I have a shawl because um, uh, it's cold in the rooms but then you come out into the heat and about fall over uh, so because it's so warm but let us begin our day though with the word of the Lord so let us begin O Lord open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen alleluia alleluia give glory to God our light and our life O come let us worship him O come let us sing to the Lord let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving <coughs> Amen. And raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it in his hands, have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Uh, Give glory to God, our light in our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 132. Lord, remember David and all the hardships that he endured. How he swore an oath to the Lord and vowed, a vow, and vowed a vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not come under the roof of my house, nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep, nor let my eyelids slumber, until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob, the ark. We heard it from, uh, It was in Ephraim. We found it in the fields of Jerim. Let us go to God's dwelling place. Let us fall upon our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Let the priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your faithful people sing with joy for your servant David's sake. Do not turn away, in face of, uh, in, away the face of your anointed. The Lord has sworn an oath to David. In truth, he will not break it. A son of the fruit of your body well, will I set upon your throne. If your children keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children will sit upon their throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired her for his habitation. This shall be my resting place forever. Here will I dwell, for I delight in her. I will surely bless her provisions and satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation and her faithful people with, will rejoice and sing. There will I make the horn of David flourish. I, will, I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. As for his enemies, I will clothe them with, uh, with them with shame. But as for him, his crown will shine. Let us pray. Lord God, our King, you have chosen the new Zion as your dwelling place, the church as your place of rest. You have kindled it in your lamp, that will burn brightly forever before Christ, your anointed one. Make our hearts your tabernacle, clothe your people with holiness, and give bread to the poor that we may rejoice and sing to you now and forever. Amen. Well, we continue in our story to find out what happens to Nabal. So here we are in the 25th chapter, beginning with verse 23. When Abigail saw David, she made haste and alighted from the ass and fell before David on her face and bowed to the ground. She fell at his feet and said, Upon me alone, my lord, be the guilt. Pray, let your handmaiden speak in your ears and hear the words of your handmaid. Let not my lord regard this ill-natured fellow Nabal, for, uh, for as his name is, so is he. Nabal is his name, and folly is with him. But I, your handmaiden, did not see the young men of my lord, whom you sent. Now then, my Lord, as the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, seeing the Lord has restrained you from blood guilt and from taking vengeance with your own hand. Now then, let your enemies and those who seek to do evil to my Lord 
be his navel, and now let the, let this present a present uh, which your servant has brought to my lord be given to the young men who follow my lord. Pray, forgive the trespass of your handmaid, for the Lord will certainly make the Lord a sure house, because my Lord is fighting the battles of the Lord, and evil shall not be found in you so long as you live. If men rise up to pursue you and seek to, and to seek your life, the life of my Lord shall be bound in the bundle of the living in the care of the Lord your God. In the, in the lives of your enemies, he shall sling out as from the hollow of the sling. And when the Lord has done to my Lord according to all the good that he has spoken concerning you and has appointed your prince over Israel, my Lord shall have no cause of grief or pangs of conscience for having shed blood without cause or for my Lord taking vengeance himself. And when the Lord has dealt well with my Lord, then remember your handmaid. And David said to Abigail, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who sent you this day to meet me. Blessed be your discretion, and blessed be you who have kept me this day from blood guilt and from avenging myself at my own hand. For as surely as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, who has restrained me from hurting you, unless you have made haste in, of course, to meet me and, and, and come to meet me, truly by morning there has not been left to Nabal so much as one male. Then David uh, received from her hand what she had brought him, and he said to her, Go up in peace to your house. See, I have hearkened to your voice, and I have granted your petition. And Abigail came to Nabal, and lo, he was holding a feast in his house, like the feast of a king. And Nabal's heart was merry within him, for he was very drunk. So she told him nothing at all until the, ne until the morning light. And in the morning, when the wine had gone out of Nabal, his wife told him these things, and his heart died within him, and he became as a stone. And about ten days later, the Lord smote Nabal, and he died. When David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be the Lord, who has avenged the insult I received at the hand of Nabal, and was, uh, was kept back his servant from evil. The Lord has returned the evil doing of Nabal upon his own head. Then David sent and wooed Abigail and made her his wife. And when the servants of David came to Abigail at Carmel, they said to her, David has sent up to, to you to take you to him as his wife. And she rose and bowed uh, with her face to the ground and said, Behold, your handmaid is a servant uh, to wash the feet of the servants of, the, of my Lord. And Abigail made haste and rose and mounted on an ass, and her five maids attended her. She went after the messengers of David and became his wife. David also took uh, took Ahim uh, 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 Oam of Jezreel, and both of them became became his wives. Saul had given Michael, his daughter, and David's wife, to uh, to Palti, the son of Laish, who was in Gilliam. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's a real soap opera sometimes. So we know what happened to Nabal now, okay? And Abigail became one of David's wives. Our second reading becomes, uh, comes from Acts, the 14th chapter, beginning with verse 19. But Jews came then from Antioch and Iconium, and having persuaded the people, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when his disciples gathered about him, he rose and entered the city. And on the next day, he went out with Barnabas to Derbe. When they had preached the gospel, where they had, when they had preached the gospel to the city, and they had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, and to Iconium, and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and saying that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. And when they had appointed elders for them to in every church, with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord to whom they believed. Then they passed through uh, Pisidia, and came to Pamphylia. And when they had spoken the word uh, word in Perga, they went down to Attilia, and from there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended, commended to the grace of God for the work which they had fulfilled. And when they arrived, they gathered the church together and declared all that, uh, that God had done with them and how they had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles, and there remained no, uh, no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. 
but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Again, <clears throat> let us pray. O oh God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong and nothing is holy, increase and multiply your mercy on us, that with you as our ruler and guide we may so pass through things temporal that we lose not the things eternal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the <coughs> oh <coughs> let us bless this day. Yeah. Let us bless the Lord. Uh, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining, uh, joining me. Um, Tom is back home, um, and but I uh, thank you for being here with me, and God bless you, and I hope you have a safe and blessed day, and stay tuned tomorrow to see what happens down here in hot Corpus Christi. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>